Hello and welcome guys to another status report highlight, this time for the week of the 17th of November 2014. This week it's a quick and easy one from producer Brian Hicks. So I'll just read out the couple of paragraphs that he's written there as they are quite important, so sit back and enjoy. He starts off by saying, Player interaction is arguably the cornerstone of what makes Daisy magical, be it friendly or hostile, direct or at a distance. The interactions between players within Cherneris is what makes the world come alive without a structured narrative or reason to be. The drive to stay alive and survive in itself compels the player to create their own story by way of the journey. You see the stories told through pictures, forum posts, YouTube videos and Twitch streams all over the internet. As we move towards our Christmas break, making those experiences be as fluid and enjoyable as possible on a development build is a personal goal for the team. Server performances and security fixes rank just as high as the remaining content and feature additions on the board for November, and the weeks available in December outside the holidays. Hicks then goes on to say, Recently I have taken to spending more time on the newly supported private shards, exploring their communities and observing the playstyle differences between their player bases and the public hive. First person only camera perspective seems to be increasingly popular within the private shard market, and I've personally had some amazing player interactions in those worlds. For those still on the fence when it comes to trying first-person only servers, I strongly encourage you to give them a chance. Restricting the perspective of what your character can actually see has a large impact on how people approach the game and other players. And finally, Brian Hicks talks about reaching the end of 2014 and going into the new year. By starting with, As we approach the end of 2014 and look back at the challenges and accomplishments of the Daisy Early Access, I cannot help but get excited about the possibilities in the new year. A passionate and active community has allowed us to grow and adapt the design and functionality of the project so much more than the traditional development method does. Being able to deploy, test and research how systems are utilised and the impact they have on the player base rather than the traditional closed method of development and hoping that when your titles hit shelves, it has the effect and reception you had hoped is amazing. Finally, Brian Hicks signs off by mentioning that he can't wait to share the work left in 2014 with us all and will hopefully spend his Christmas in Chernerus and reminds us that he's not a bandit. I hope you all enjoyed this status report highlight for the week of the 17th of November 2014. As always, I recommend you read the whole status report yourselves for the full amount of information that it may hold. All links will be in the description, as well as for daisytv.com for your latest Daisy news and information. And for now, I'll see you peeps next time.